your first question is a very important one. I think in times of stress, uh, this sort of fractures do happen. Um, and uh, underlying sentiments come to the fore, and then it can sometimes erupt. But ultimately, our unity, our ability to work with each other, have trust and confidence in each other, despite our difference and our diversity, that is the most important antibody in our society to fight any crisis, not just this pandemic, any crisis. So it is most important that in this period where everyone is feeling a bit fed up, lots of stresses, social media has all kinds of bad news, they always run faster than the good news. We must remember this fundamental DNA that as Singaporeans we share with each other, our trust, our confidence in each other, that we have come so far from far worse crisis to what we are today, and so continue to keep that unity and that resilience, and keep that trust. That's the main currency, the main antibody to fight against the pandemic. It's also a timely reminder to all of us that uh, multiracialism cannot be taken for granted. It is always work in progress, and we have to continue to strengthen our cohesion, and we continue to have to work hard. Uh, to, um, it's like a, a vaccination, you know, to vaccinate against, uh, us against the anti-racial uh, sentiments. So it's important for us to continue on this work, and this, uh, especially during this pandemic, we understand the stress level the people will be facing, and there will always be uh, a, a trigger point that may uh, flare up uh, uh, our sentiments. Uh, but it's important for us to always remember that we are a multiracial society, and we need to continue to work with one another. And fun fundamentally, the virus does not recognize language, religion, or race. Uh, just a quick point to add that, um, you know, in a crisis like this, you do see the best and worst sides of uh, humanity. Yes, there are negative incidents overseas and in Singapore. You see them. Each time we see something like that happening, I think we should take a stand, make very clear that this does not represent us and we do not condone any such acts of racism or xenophobia. Uh, but we should not forget also that we have seen throughout this crisis and pandemic many, many positive sides of Singaporeans coming together. We have seen the best of the Singapore spirit at work. People reaching out to their neighbours, their uh, in the strangers, helping out one another, helping the workers in the dormitories, continuing to do so during this difficult period. Um, you know, do, going the extra mile to take care of their fellow Singaporeans and everyone, and, and many people in the front line doing that, regardless of race, regardless of religion, crossing boundaries and being prepared to you know, go outside of their comfort zone to help one another. I think that strong spirit of solidarity and unity is amply demonstrated throughout this pandemic. Uh, the examples may not viral as much as a negative example sometimes, which is unfortunate, but we seek the help of the media to help us share these stories because they exist, they demonstrate Singaporeans truly, you know, demonstrating solidarity and unity with one another, and we should have confidence and faith that as we emerge through this pandemic, we will emerge stronger, better, and more united.